Heel Smash Swirl. This is a freestyle classic, spiced with swirl. Start by doing the heel smash, then you immediately do the swirl with your other leg, which is basically an around the world behind your back. Finish it off by catching it with a clipper and the swag is yours. The fake popcorn turn. Quite similar to the popcorn flick, but you add a spin. While doing the popcorn flick, turn towards the opposite side of the foot you're using. The trick here is to use the top of your foot more than in a regular popcorn flick, where you only use your toe. The ridiculously named Tekka's Dab 360 Spin. Here, you lift your strong foot over the ball to lift it up with your weak foot. Remember to start spinning early, and most importantly, don't forget the dab. Next is the Sombrero Flick. You shouldn't really be doing this in a game. Place your strong foot under the ball. Swing the other leg forward while you jump with the strong foot, lifting the ball forwards in the air. Extend your leg and point your toes upwards. Remember to lean back and the ball will fly over you and hopefully the poor defender too. The famous popcorn flick. You might have seen Zlatan doing this flick up a few times before, but what you have to remember is that you can only use the top of your foot. And what's good to have in mind while learning this is that you roll the ball slightly in front of you before you get back to create the momentum. This is the advanced rainbow. This is a trick made famous in FIFA. Do the run up sideways and then do a running Ronaldinho flick. As the ball goes up, you use your strong foot to heal the ball over you and of course, the opponent as well. The jump around the world. Start with the ball between your feet. Now jump while holding onto the ball. Release it at the right height and do an inside around the world. Remember, the higher you jump, the more impressive it's going to look. The butterfly lift. Easy, but very impressive. Place your strong foot in front of the ball. Use your weak foot to firmly clinch the ball between your legs. While turning, lean onto your front foot and use your momentum to glide the ball up your calf. The more power you put into your clinching foot, the higher the ball's gonna go. And here is El Tornado. We just had to include the most hype trick in FIFA 18. Start with your foot on the ball. Roll it back slowly and extend your leg backwards. Simultaneously pop the ball in a motion and turn your body. Now finish it up with a shot with the other leg. And it is easier on PlayStation, by the way. The Spin Magic Lift. Start by placing your weak foot slightly in front of the ball. Not too close, not too far. Kick the side of the ball into your weak foot to create a spin and start your juggling. Now for the Spin Magic Finger Spin. A variation, or should I say advanced version, of the Spin Magic Lift. Master both Spin Magic and the Finger Spin and you'll be able to pull this one off no problem. Just don't forget to add enough height and spin the ball in the right direction. The Nate Mar Special. This trick will only work from a pass. Swing your foot around the ball and let it hit your standing leg. Now, tap it lightly with the outside of your foot while leaning away from the ball. Quickly tap it once again with the inside and finish the show off by running around the defender. The drag back lift. Drag the ball with your weak foot while doing a step over. End the trick by lifting the ball with your strong foot. The key here is to find the right pace. This is the Ronaldinho flick up, a classic that everyone should know. This flick consists of two steps. First up, roll the ball towards your other foot, aiming at the toes. In the second and last step, you need to lift your toes as the ball is approaching to get a flicking motion and get the ball into the air. The Ronaldinho Pile Driver. 
Once again, a flick up built on the Ronaldinho flick. So start off with doing just that. When the ball's about to get into the air, bend your knee and bounce the ball back into the ground. Careful not to hurt anyone with this one. The cheeky fat man flick up. All you have to do is use your heels to lift the ball like this. It is actually quite difficult because you need to lift the ball upwards and not to the front. The clipper lift. A simple but very cool flick up. Roll the ball in front of you and catch the ball with the outside of your foot. Roll it back and flick it up. If you ever find yourself on the streets of Sao Paulo, you're gonna need to know the curb flick. Here, you need a small curb to bounce the ball against. Do a soul roll, step in front of the ball and catch it with your hamstring. Make sure to stretch your ankle in order to lock the ball in. Good luck. The Goetze flick. Start off with a sideways soul roll. Let the ball bounce on the outside of the same foot and remember to uncross your legs in the same motion. Now you swing the same leg over the ball and make a toe bounce with your other foot. To make it easier for yourself, make sure to do the sole roll bounce with enough power. If you feel comfortable rolling the ball back and flicking it up, add a smash to get the roll and smash. Roll the ball back and lift it up behind your standing leg. Smash the ball back into the ground and let it bounce right back up in front of you. The reverse toe bounce lift looks super dope and super easy. For this trick, you need your teammate to pass the ball to you at speed. Stand sideways and when the ball approaches, lift your leg over it and let the ball hit your standing foot. Are you ready to roll and spin? Roll the ball backwards with your weak foot and flick it up with your strong foot. Turn your body and hit the ball with the heel of your weak foot before you finish your 360 spin. The spin up. Drag your foot across the ball in a circular motion. Gently apply pressure in order to create that nice spin. Catch the ball from underneath and it will elevate like a magic trick or a basketball trick for football players. The scissor flick dragon stall. Place the ball between your feet and your feet slightly offset. You want to go like a cross country skier or scissors. Hitting the ball only once with your heel and toe, quickly go into a dragon stall and keep the ball and the crowd spinning. The over and out. Either this is a really cool flick up or an efficient skill if you're a top, top player. Roll the ball back with your weak foot and lift it up with the inside of your strong foot. Make sure to get the ball high enough so you can get the right angle to hit the ball over yourself with your heel. Over and out. The slap heel flick. You simply clinch the ball behind your other leg. Roll it across and up your calf on your standing leg. Make sure to get the ball high enough so you immediately can add a heel touch to finish it off. The Tiago flick. A viral trick Tiago made during training. Run slowly towards the ball and clinch the ball between both of your feet. Lightly slide the ball up your leg with your strong foot and lean forwards. Kick the ball back into the ground with the toe of your strong foot. Stretching your ankle will be a great friend if you want to be like Tiago. The three-step toe bounce. Roll the ball towards you and gently lift it up. Stretch the leg and do a small touch pointing your toes forward to make the ball come back to you. Now lift your toes with your standing leg while revolving with your other leg, creating a toe bounce. To make the bounce easier, make sure you remember to lean over the ball. The roll back knee acker. Start off by rolling the ball back and flicking it up with the outside of your foot. Move your knee sideways and gently tap the ball with the outside of it, 
extend your leg and tap the ball with your foot and lean in the other direction. Do this in a match and the attention is all yours. Majiri flick. This one's quite similar to the popcorn flick. More exaggerated, I'd say, but this time you lock it before you pop it. You bend over the ball and now you're gonna pop. If you successfully pull this off, you are gonna be honored by the people of Majiri. The drag back rainbow. This move might be difficult while running, but you can certainly do it while standing. Start by rolling the ball back, flick it up with your toe, and heel it over your head with your opposite foot. The tricky part here is the flick up, so remember to straighten out your leg and move your heel upwards to give you more time for the heel hit. The Neymar Rocket. To start the fireworks, you simply clinch the ball between your feet. Jump, then bend your knees and look over your shoulder. You need to find the right timing to release the ball over you and of course your opponent. Remember to lean forwards to collect the ball on the other side. The pullback flick around the world. Drag the ball back with your strong foot and catch it again behind your standing leg. Do a small lift so you have time to get into position for the around the world. Now the choice is yours if you want to do an inside around the world or outside. The receiving overhead lift. Receive the ball with your weak foot and lift it up. Now lean back and tap the ball with your strong foot to go over the opponent. This one's all about timing, so make sure you get it right. The double flick up. Start off with a Ronaldinho flick followed by a small clipper tap behind your standing leg. Now comes the tricky part. Place the outside of your foot on the ball and put in all of your body weight. Then boom, flick it up once again. This one may look quite simple, but it definitely isn't. The spin magic foot stall. Basically, you put your weak foot slightly in front of the ball and then you use your strong foot to graze the side of the ball to create a spin. You catch the ball on your foot and keep it going for as long as you can. The roll up toe bounce. Roll the ball back into your weak foot while leaning back to lift it up. Then, move your weak foot back while revolving around the ball with your strong foot. End this move by lifting your heel slightly to do the toe bounce. So this one's basically a crossing heel hit, but you're adding in an around the world straight after, which gives it the name heel hit around the world. So you tap the ball into your heel with just enough force to lift it up. Make sure not to hesitate the revolving of your leg to have enough time for the around the world. The crossover lift. Quite simple, yet a very, very cool move. From a pass, get into a crossover position. Make sure to have the ball hit your standing foot and when it hits your foot, jump. This is a really exciting move, the Acker 3000. Lift the ball up on the side of your body and do a 180 degree spin. Touch the ball with the outside of your knee and extend your leg to hit the ball with your foot. If you get really good at this, you'll be able to do it around a defender. The I'm out of here, run towards the ball and do a 180 degree turn. Use your weak foot to flick it up while leaning backwards. Tap the ball and heel it over your head with your strong foot and you are out of there. The Majeriosis. This trick starts off with a Majeri flick, but instead of just catching it afterwards, you do an Osis. This is a 180 degree clipper. So turn your body away from the ball and do a clipper to lift the ball once again. Of voila. Very, very basic, very, very impressive. The double heel jump. Clinch the ball between your feet and lift it behind your back. End the move by turning 180 degrees to catch the ball. You can turn whichever direction you want and also add more fancy stuff if you want. This is the Ronaldinho heel tap. You start by doing the Ronaldinho flick that you know so well by flicking the ball onto your standing weak foot. When the ball goes up though, 
Tap the ball with your heel and let it bounce back into the ground. We're continuing on the theme of one of Ronaldinho's favorite training moves, the Ronaldinho hamstring flick. You roll the ball into your standing foot to do a Ronaldinho flick. You catch it with your hamstring and flick it back over your head using the lower leg and heel. Warning, this one is much harder than it looks. The catch and turn. For this move, we'll have to rely on your surroundings. Chip the ball against a wall, and when it bounces back, catch it between your legs. Now, let it drop down to your ankles. Twist your body whilst sliding the ball up your calf and catch it. When you turn, do a small jump. The butterfly slap lift heel chapeau. Place one leg behind the ball and the other slightly slanted in front of the ball. Roll the ball up your calf to get it into the air and hit the ball with your heel or the side of your foot. Remember to lean forwards so you're able to get the ball over your head. The double rainbow. A rainbow flick with another heel added into the mix. Do a regular rainbow flick but instead of flicking it over your head, flick it up to about hip height so you have enough time to hit it with your heel over you and your opponent. We've called this one the Rebury Combo. Since it was a move Rebury once did during training, here you place your strong foot just behind the ball. Revolve the other leg around the ball while jumping to lift the ball into the air. Quickly cross your legs back and doing it around the world in front of you. So I'm going to end with a trick that seems to defy gravity, the rake lift. Roll the ball back on the outside of your weak foot. As the ball's rolling, turn your body away from the ball. Open up your legs just like a panner and scoop the ball up from the ground with your strong foot. 